Welcome to Space Fact Fusion. Today, we're diving into the latest updates from NASA and SpaceX, two of the most influential organizations in the field of space exploration. We'll cover recent launches, missions, and what these developments mean for the future of space travel. NASA's Artemis II mission. Let's start with NASA and its ambitious goals. NASA has always been at the forefront of space exploration, pushing the boundaries of what is possible and inspiring generations to look up at the stars. With the Artemis program, NASA aims to return humans to the moon and eventually send astronauts to Mars, setting the stage for the next era of space exploration. The Artemis II mission is generating a lot of buzz as it aims to send four astronauts around the moon, marking a significant milestone. This mission is not just about reaching the moon, it's about testing new technologies, conducting scientific research and preparing for future missions that will take us even further into the cosmos. The excitement surrounding Artemis II is palpable, as it represents a giant leap forward in our quest to explore the universe. Scheduled for launch no earlier than September 2025, this mission will be the first crewed lunar mission since Apollo 17 in 1972, over 50 years ago. The Apollo missions laid the groundwork for human space exploration, and now, Artemis II is poised to build on that legacy. The mission will demonstrate NASA's ability to safely send astronauts to the moon and bring them back, paving the way for future lunar landings and deep space missions. The crew includes NASA astronauts Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen, showcasing international collaboration. Each astronaut brings a wealth of experience and expertise to the mission. Reed Wiseman, a seasoned astronaut, will serve as the mission commander. Victor Glover, who recently completed a long-duration stay on the International Space Station, will be the pilot. Christina Koch, known for her record-breaking spaceflight, will be a mission specialist. Jeremy Hansen, representing the Canadian Space Agency, will also serve as a mission specialist, highlighting the importance of international partnerships in space exploration. Artemis II will utilize the Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, and the Orion spacecraft, both designed for deep space missions. The SLS is the most powerful rocket ever built, capable of carrying astronauts and cargo beyond low Earth orbit. The Orion spacecraft is equipped with advanced life support systems, navigation and communication technologies, ensuring the safety and well-being of the crew during their journey. The mission will last about eight days, following a free return trajectory around the moon, ensuring a safe return. This trajectory will take the spacecraft around the far side of the moon, providing the crew with breathtaking views of the lunar surface and the Earth from a distance. The free return trajectory is a critical safety feature, allowing the spacecraft to return to Earth even if there are technical issues during the mission. Recently, the core stage of the SLS was transported to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, a crucial step forward. This massive component is the backbone of the SLS rocket, housing the main engines and fuel tanks. Its arrival at Kennedy Space Center marks a significant milestone in the preparation for the Artemis II mission. This was a significant milestone as it prepares for integration with other mission components, moving closer to the launch date. The integration process involves assembling the rocket, testing its systems, and ensuring everything is ready for the mission. Each step brings us closer to the day when Artemis II will launch, carrying astronauts around the moon and heralding a new era of human space exploration. The journey to the moon is filled with challenges, but with each milestone, we are one step closer to achieving our dreams of exploring the cosmos. SpaceX's launches. Now shifting gears to SpaceX. The company has been extremely active with multiple launches scheduled in November. Starlink Satellite Launch On November 18, 2024, SpaceX is set to launch 20 Starlink satellites from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, marking another milestone in space exploration. This launch is part of SpaceX's ambitious plan to create a global satellite internet network, providing high-speed internet access to even the most remote corners of the world. 
The Starlink project aims to bridge the digital divide and bring connectivity to underserved areas, revolutionizing the way we access the internet. This launch will include 13 satellites equipped with direct-to-cell capability, significantly enhancing global internet access and connectivity. These advanced satellites are designed to communicate directly with cell phones, bypassing the need for ground-based cell towers. This technology promises to provide reliable internet service in areas where traditional infrastructure is lacking or has been compromised by natural disasters. The Falcon 9 rocket will lift off during a four-hour window starting at 12.47 a.m. EST, ensuring optimal conditions for the mission. The precise timing of the launch is crucial to ensure the satellites are deployed into their intended orbits. The launch window allows for flexibility in case of any last-minute technical issues or unfavorable weather conditions, ensuring the highest chances of a successful mission. After deploying the satellites into low Earth orbit approximately 62 minutes post-launch, the first stage of the Falcon 9 will attempt to land on the drone ship, of course I still love you, in the Pacific Ocean, showcasing SpaceX's reusable rocket technology. This innovative approach not only reduces the cost of space travel, but also minimizes environmental impact. The successful recovery and reuse of rocket stages are key components of SpaceX's strategy to make space exploration more sustainable and affordable for future missions. OptusX Satellite Launch Just a day prior, on November 17th, SpaceX successfully launched the OptusX satellite for an Australian telecom company from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. This satellite is designed to operate in geosynchronous transfer orbit and will enhance communication capabilities for Australia. Upcoming Test Flight of Starship Looking ahead, on November 19, 2024, SpaceX plans to conduct its sixth test flight of the Starship rocket from Boca Chica, Texas. This highly anticipated event marks another significant milestone in SpaceX's ambitious journey towards making space travel more accessible and sustainable. The test flight will be closely monitored by space enthusiasts and experts around the world. This flight aims to test several new features and capabilities, pushing the boundaries of what the Starship can achieve. Among the key objectives is the validation of the rocket's structural integrity and aerodynamic performance during various phases of flight. Engineers have been meticulously working on enhancing the design to ensure it can withstand the rigors of space travel. Catch Maneuver SpaceX will attempt to replicate its successful booster catch maneuver using Mechazilla, which would significantly enhance reusability, an essential aspect of future space missions. This maneuver involves the booster returning to the launch site and being caught by the Mechazilla Tower, a complex and precise operation that, if successful, could revolutionize the way rockets are recovered and reused. In-Space Engine Relight This test will also assess the ability to relight one of Starship's Raptor engines during flight, crucial for controlled deorbit burns and mission success. The ability to relight engines in space is vital for missions that require precise maneuvering and landing on other celestial bodies. This test will provide valuable data to improve the reliability and performance of the Raptor engines, ensuring they can meet the demands of future interplanetary missions. Collaboration with ISRO Additionally, on November 19th, SpaceX will launch India's GSRT-20 communications satellite. This marks a significant collaboration between India's ISRO and SpaceX, as this satellite is too heavy for ISRO's own launch vehicles. Satellite features, the GSRT-20, will enhance communication infrastructure across India and has a mission lifespan of about 14 years. In summary, both NASA and SpaceX are making significant strides in space exploration. From Artemis II's preparations for human lunar exploration to SpaceX's ongoing satellite launches and innovative test flights, these organizations are paving the way for future advancements in space travel. Thank you for watching. Space Fact Fusion. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on space exploration.